Hello, my name's Mike. I've recently retired and recently had a birthday. For my birthday, my wife very kindly bought me this model. It's an M1070 um, tractor and trailer. Um, I'm going to video, I'm, I'm fairly new to modelling, certainly modern modelling. Um, I did it when I was a kid, as most of us did, but things seem to have moved on. Uh, as I go along, I'm going to video what I do, and hopefully it will help some people out there who are in the same situation. Some of the videos that I've seen on the on YouTube been very helpful in the research that I've done to buy to, to choose this model and the equipment I bought to to deal uh, to build it. As you can see. In the box, there's an awful lot of stuff. Um, a lot of brass that has to be cut off the off the frames. It will also need to be bent. Um, many frames of parts. I believe there's something like 1,600 parts in it. And how long it will take me, I've got no idea. Uh, there's also Quite a lot of glassware, pipes, chains, various little bits. This is the instruction manual that comes with the kit. Um, it's quite a hefty thing, 30, 40 odd pages I think. Um, 32 for the, the tractor, 20 odd for the, the trailer. Uh, it gives you parts list on the inside, first page on the inside, one, there, one there, and one there. Most of the frames that are on this are double. So if you get a, an H frame, there's I think there's four of them. So it's that's <laughs> deceiving on the number of, uh, on the number of pipe parts there are for it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the, the bits and pieces of equipment that I've bought so that I can start the model. Had I not done that, bought some of the stuff in, in advance, I would not have been able to put it together. I'd have simply been waiting for Amazon to deliver more stuff. Um, but as I say, I'll show you the bits and pieces that I've, I've acquired as I've gone along, as I go along now. Okay, this is the toolkit that my son bought me. Uh, basic toolkit from Amazon. It's got many of the bits you might need. Probably not the best quality, but it'll get you going. Lots of little pin files. Loads of pairs of tweezers. All different styles. Yeah. Cutters for cutting the, the parts off the frames. Um, <laughs> Inexplicably, a nail grinder, nail decorator, um, a pin drill, which seems quite good quality, um, that's operated by hand, and a selection of high speed drills, um, most of them are very small, and how good they are, no idea. There's also uh, several Sanding pa uh, papers, some very soft ones as well, a bit of sponge in the middle there. A um, couple of screwdrivers, a steel rule, and it doesn't come with a craft knife for uh, some unknown reason, but I have one of those. You'll need, obviously, some glue. That seems to be quite good stuff. Um, and a marker pen. I'll tell you why in a minute. And a couple of highlighters, two different colours, doesn't matter what colour. Um, that's about it for those. The next thing that I've done is on the instructions, I'll bring this down a little bit. As I've built a part up, I've highlighted what I've done. That way you know exactly where you're up to. 
some of the bits I haven't put on. These bits here are glass parts and that one and that one. Circle them in a different colour so that you know that you haven't done them yet. Um, that way you're not going to forget them. And also, if you don't, if you do them now, you're going to paint them the wrong colour. Therefore, it really need to be finished off later. The instructions on this model aren't great. Um, this part, I'll get this point out. This part in particular, it shows you how to assemble it. And it has an arrow that just points to the frame, to the, the, the chassis frame. It goes, however, there right on the end um, and I'll show you on the next on the next frame or two how to put that in because it doesn't fit um, I found that I was spending more time looking for the, the frame with the particular parts in um, and all the parts come off different frames so a part for a particular assembly comes off A, B, C, D the frame numbers tiny little numbers in the corners if you're an old bugger like me you might not be able to see them so what I've done is taken all the bags and marked them it takes seconds then to find them as you can see I've started building the, 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 the chassis rails followed the instructions as they've come out um, and this is where where I'm up to None of it's painted. I did experiment with painting some of it first um, by taking a couple of pieces of the framework that, that hold the, the bits on and painting them, then gluing them together. Nothing. They all fell apart. So it would seem that you have to assemble it, then paint it. Um, and then it'll, it obviously it will stick together couple of little bits on this this prop shaft here needs to be glued into the engine sump first the, the rear of the engine box and then when it's all glued into the chassis rails then fastened into that part of the transfer box um, I've already mentioned that that part there, which is part of the steering box, um, it doesn't. It's not really clear on where it should go. There's also on the on the back of here. Oops, can't see it. There we go. On the back of the last one, that last frame on the on the chassis cross member, it only says that you put one of these lights on. But it's clear that you would put two on. If you look at the painting diagram rather than the instruction diagram there's definitely two on there the photo etch as you can see on there has bent really quite well it's not caused any problems at all bending that that photo edge over uh, with using the the makeshift bender um that's about all there is that that i've done there as you know i'm a beginner and that has taken that took all day yesterday, probably about eight hours. Um, I'll let you know how I get on when I put the thing together, this frame together.